Hi everyone, this is Anna from VP State Team. Today I will show you how to edit your Elementor homepage after you finish the demo import. This video is for those who wish to use Elementor as page builder. We will cover the bakery page builder options in a separate video. We will work with the main demo homepage because it features the Mosby President's Elementor widgets, but you can actually use this video to edit any of the demos you import as they all have an Elementor homepage version. Just to keep in mind, this demo is built with Elementor 3. After demo import finishes, you can start building your site, add your content, your images, and change the theme options as you need them to be. The first thing I want to show you is how to change the hero header image, which now you see as this blue image, and how to edit the content of the page, what is below the header image after that. As we presidents can be used with Elementor, Bakery or WordPress default Gutenberg editor, sections such as hero header image are managed the same way. So to start editing this hero header media, you have to go first on click edit page. In appearance, you have several settings you can manage per page and they influence the appearance of the header section. I will keep them as in the demo I imported at this point, but you can change further from here if you wish. Just to change the image, I go to header image, click on upload image, then I upload one image from my computer to my website media library. I click insert into post when I'm done, but make sure you use a large image and select the full size image. I can also change the text, the image height and the color overlay, which shows over the image. Then I save the changes and I go to see my web page. I will go back just for a short while to appearance options in edit page, just to show you that you have other options for this hero header media. There is a detailed video tutorial you can watch if you wish to find out how each option works and I will include a link in the description. I want to show you next how to edit and manage the homepage content. The team works with both Elementor and Bakery and this demo has several pages built with both page builders. This specific homepage is created with Elementor so I will start by showing you how to use Elementor page builder. Click on edit with Elementor to start editing the page. The presidents has specific modules for Elementor. As you open a page on the left, you first see the default modules. You can use every element that is available, but what I want to show you are the team specific modules. And these are actually listed under the presidents widgets. There are actually 46 the presidents widgets you can use with this page builder and extra widgets available if you wish to design a custom property page, which I will cover later on in this video. The first widget I want to show you is how to manage the properties list. Click on the edit icon to start editing the shortcode and here on the left, you will see the different options you can apply to the widget. You can change the list of terms for the filter bar. You can also change the number of listings to show if you wish to show them vertical or horizontal and in which order. In the content area you can change settings so that you can show only specific listings from specific categories. You can also show only feature properties. If you wish to make a list just like this but with more styling options you can use any of the widgets on the left and you can simply select the widget from the list, delete it and then drag and drop the new widget you wish to style. The widget has more styling options than the one before and we start with the tabs categories. You can select anything you want here. Then you can change the number of listings as well. If you wish to show the properties as list or grid but I will keep the grid layout. And I want to show the listings by the highest price first, but you can choose something else from this list. You can show specific properties only if you wish as well. And I would like to show only the hot listings. And then if you would like to hide specific information from the card, you can do that from the settings here. Now, because we have so many details 
I cannot show you each of them, but you can play around in your demo if you wish. And basically you have full control over the typography and the colors as well. And you can manage everything from style options. And just to understand a little the colors of the widget, I will show you how you can change the colors as well. The next element in the demo is the display category shortcut. First I select the shortcut and then I choose which categories I wish to show. The list of categories will auto-populate with the categories, cities, areas, states you add in admin dashboard. I will save the edits done so far and move to admin quickly to show you how you add the image for each category. The process that I'm about to show you is done one time, no matter if you plan to use Elementor or Bakery. So go to Properties, Categories, edit the category, change the category name, and to be sure you save this correctly, delete the slug as well. Add description if you wish, will be used for several purposes, and then upload the featured image. This image can be one already uploaded in your WordPress media library, like I'm doing here, or you can upload a new one from your computer. Click Insert into Post. Now, if you wish to add a text, like a second text that shows uh, in the cards, you can type it here. If not, you can leave it blank. And then you save changes. You can repeat this process for every category, type, city, area and state. If you go back to the edit page in Elementor link and reload it, you will see that categories images. There was a widget in Elementor has more options to style the look. You can choose between two design types. You can change the height of the image, change the border radius, and then you can edit the text font and colors as well. The next element is a slider with properties. This slider can be used also for blog posts, articles or agents. You can manage how many listings to show and the duration of the automatic scroll. For example, 5000 means 5 seconds. You can also control in what order to list the properties, if you want to show properties from specific categories and if you want to show only featured listings. If you wish more options to control the content and styling of each card, you can do that as well in Elementor. We actually have seven more variations of the slider for Elementor and each variation includes a different property card design. To add a different slider, just delete this one and in the search type slider and drag and drop the new vpresident slider to page builder. You can control what properties to show but additional to the standard slider I showed you before, you have more options to manage the content, what elements to show or hide, and you can also style the card differently as well by managing colors and fonts. Scrolling down, you reach the feature properties element. So you can show feature properties like this, and this widget can be used for one property at a time. Now you have different design variations and you simply select the design you like from the drop-down. You choose between 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. The ID makes it easy to put the right listing and that you get from admin dashboard properties. You just copy the ID you wish in the ID box, just like this. And that's all you have to do. And then we have a second variation of the shortcode where we use the full row element and looks like this. And you can just change between 4 and 5 to make a different look. Properties by area are created with the same shortcode we used for categories previously. But now we use it for specific areas. Now you can follow the same steps I showed you to add a specific area and then add its image from admin dashboard. But now I want to show you a different element you can use to list categories. To add the widget, I simply look for VP Residence Grids in the list. I drag and drop and then I start to use this. You can use this element for categories, types, cities, areas 
and states. I will work with states at this point. Now, what I want to do is save the changes done so far and we move to admin dashboard quickly to show you how to edit the demo state, cities and areas and how you add an image to each so you can have the photos loaded as you use the grids builder. We'll start with property states. First, go to admin property states. In this case, I will edit the demo states, but you can repeat the same process when you add a new category. So I just add the title, I delete the slug, and this is important because titles and slugs must match. Then I add the featured category image. This image is uploaded from my computer, but you can also select it from your existing media library. I click insert into post and save. Then I go to cities, I edit the city, and what is important, here you can select the state the city belongs to. This will be useful if you use uh, front-end submission form for properties and you wish to let people select the state, city and area as drop-downs or in advanced search. So same as before, I add an image, I click insert and then I save. And then I repeat this also for all the areas in the demo. I select an area, I edit it, I select which city this area belongs to, I type the text label, I, del I delete the slug, I add the image for the category and then I insert it into post. So basically you repeat this for all your states, cities and categories. So after you finish editing your states, cities, areas, you can do the same process for all property categories and types. I will go back to homepage, refresh the page and finish the grid which that I was working with before. So in this case, I want to show specific areas only. So I select them from the autocomplete form. And as you notice, as I refreshed the page, the names have updated as well. So it's that simple. This widget has two design variations and I will work with type to design now. In style options, you can change the look of the widget. You can increase the image height. You can also change the spaces between the images. And then you can also edit the fonts and colors. I will just do some simple changes to understand how it works, but you can be as creative as you wish. The next element you can use only with Elementor homepage is the precedent stop. Each tab can show your icon and specific information you want to list. The information section from the demo is edited from Elementor templates. You go to admin, find the template by its name and click edit and edit with Elementor to change the content. So just edit from here, save and that's it. Now if you do not want to use this element, you use right click and click delete to remove it. The developer's image slider is actually created with a standard widget included in the Elementor standard version. So you can use to add your images to the gallery and delete them once or simply remove it if you do not use it. Testimonials are created with a vpresidence element and you can edit the image of the user who shared the testimonial. Then you can change the name, the title and the review text as well. You can also choose between three variations of the widget as look and here we have three testimonials added in demo which you can edit but you can add as many as you wish as well. The agent list is a different theme widget you can use in the presidence. You can simply create a list of your agents and then choose which ones to display here. Later on in this video I will show you how to add your agent as well but you don't have to do anything else. Next, I will show you how to add a new section in Elementor, how you can add title, text and how you can make a full row. First, select a section and click on the plus sign to add a new section just before it, just like this. Elementor allows you to add also inner sections and for title and text, I will add an inner section so you can make an idea of the possibilities. So just select inner section and drag it to your new section. Now, if you wish to change the number of columns, just use right click add a new column and if you wish to change the width of a column you can use the editor settings. It's really easy in Elementor. Now to add heading just drag and drop the heading widget and type the text you wish and then continue to style it. 
you can change the heading color and typography like font size and font weight and all these details. You can also add some text below heading by using the text, wi text widget. Just drag and drop and then, you, same as before, you can style this text as you wish. If you wish to add more space between sections, that is also managed from Elementor Advanced Settings. So select the section, go to Advanced and add Margin or Padding. You can use several options for padding and you can add only for top and bottom, just like this. From VP Residence Elementor widgets, you can easily create a block list as well and same as with properties. I will show you quickly how. Just drag and drop the list widget and then select articles. You manage how many articles to show. Just edit the number here and that's it. Now I will quickly show you how to make a full row and content as well. So first add a new section, same as before. Then in layout, choose content width, full width and then enable the option to stretch section. Now I will look for a VP Residence widget that fits such a layout. That is the featured article. You can select an article from the drop-down and then choose the second layout design, which will make the design fit the full row. And if you wish to remove the margins, just select no margin as here. If you want to add a subscriber form, like in this demo, you will need a shortcode for the form, which you will get if you install MailChimp for WordPress plugin. This is actually a free plugin that specializes in collecting correctly the emails of those who want to receive newsletters from you. In the description, you will have a link to install and copy the shortcode as in this video. But what I want to show you is how you add a background image to a full row section like this one and how you can change the image and overlay color if you wish to. So you select the section, go to Style, Background Overlay and you can replace the image with a different one from the placeholder here. And then you have different options to change the image position and in even the color overlay from background. So this is all you have to do to edit the hero header and content of homepage. For your site, we will wrap this video here, but subscribe to the President's YouTube channel to stay informed about the new videos we will launch and those will help you build the most beautiful real estate website. So thank you for watching.